Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we're going to take a look at a video out of the United Kingdom where an individual is violating the stay-at-home order, walking around, he's videoing on his phone, he calls himself a freelance journalist and an essential worker, two police officers confront him, they want to give him a ticket, he won't get his name, he won't give his name, it escalates a little bit, and they end up detaining him. It's humorous, we can also take a quick look at the legality of the stay-at-home orders, though, though, I am not a British attorney, I'm not a a, a barrister or a solicitor, but we're going to take a look at American law and British law real quick, see if we can learn something. Um, but before we watch this video, I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. This is my channel, Common Sense Academy. We take a look at sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and other people behaving badly. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Really looking to get subscriptions right now. That's a free way to support the show. Go ahead, subscribe to me. This show will always remain free. Now, before we watch this video, but after you hit the subscribe button, raise your cup, your glass in the air. Here on the Common Sense Academy, we do the same time sip because it tastes better when we sip together. I got one of my signature drinks here. As uh, everybody knows, I like coffee, Diet Coke. Here's some Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Cheers with me. Tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. All right, let's take a look at this video. Wow, okay, yeah. All right, all right. See you later. Bye. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right, bye. All right. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. All right. Blame me now. See that, people? She came at me now. That's. I mean, I don't see how it's not essential what I'm doing. It's not essential. Is it not? No. Stop Is being broad. right. Yeah. Really yeah. Is yeah. That yeah. 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 Right. It's not going in, is it? Well, I haven't done anything wrong, so I don't, I don't, you know, see what, what the issue is. Right. Well, you didn't run me over, did you? So I don't think you nearly won me over. But uh, there is no need for the aggression. But anyway, blooming tickets. It's not actually an act of parliament yet. But ayo. We got police woman saying that. She's going to give me a ticket for walking down the street when it's not actually an act of parliament yet, but when it becomes a law that you can't walk down the street, then, you know, I think, I think doing what I'm doing, which is I'm a freelance journalist, I don't see really how, how it's not, not sufficient, but... <coughs> I think she'll find that if I keep, if she keeps her distance from me, I'll keep my distance from her. I think we've got what we need anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later. I think I've got what I need now. Sorry? You what? What's that paperwork? Turn round. Turn round. Turn. I'm not. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna stay away because I want that two meters distance. I don't want to get diseased from you. Yeah. Come on. What's your name? My name. Well, do you see this people? Don't touch me. You're getting a bit. You're getting a bit hostile, aren't you? I've got more videos of you guys being aggressive, so this isn't the first. Right. Right. Well, that's not that's not that's not essential, is it? You know, I can. They're my videos. You, it, you've got to have a court to have my photos deleted, and you haven't got a court, so crack on. My name. I'm not giving you my name. Well, don't arrest you then. Well, no, you won't be arresting me because I ain't, I ain't committed an offence. Well, this is not this is not in an act of parliament, so I'm not I'm not going to. No, it's not. I'm not. Look, look, I'm not stupid. Yeah. If I was a fool and I had M U G on 
I'm sure that you're some trainees. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to speak to your to your sergeant? I don't need to be Seven told. times. Several times. Several times. If you continue yeah. to be here, you'll be getting a ticket. I can, walk, I can walk around as much as I like and you yes, can't stop can. me. Well, that's none of your business either. No, Again, that is not essential. Can you... So that I can give you this ticket. No, two no, metres. No. I don't want to get a disease off you. Yeah, we don't want you work around a lot of public, don't you? So you're public carriers. I stay you away from people. But you don't what? stay away from people because you start... Maybe What's that, cuffs? Whoa! Yeah, well, if you don't stand you still... see this, people? If you don't stand still... There we are, assault, assault, assault. that's so common assault. assault. Yes, it is. That's, that's battery. Look at this, people. Okay, first we're going to laugh a little bit, then I'm going to go into the law a little bit. Not going to bring the law up on the screen, but I got some notes written down for this one. So, funny thing, this guy right at the beginning, he's videotaping, you can see the police off in the distance. Um, I don't know if these are regular police, maybe someone from the UK can inform me. It looks like they are, you know, they got the yellow vests on, etc, etc. I don't know if they're like a type of traffic cop or something, probably regular police. So, he's videoing them and he's talking smack, you know, to himself. And there's a guy off in the distance who is saying something to him and you hear the person off in the distance say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> that, that just, like that killed me. That killed me. I like that guy. Cheers to him. Same time zip is designated to him. He's telling this goofball walking around videoing like, what's wrong with you? Just go home. Just listen. It sounds like they gave him an opportunity to just go home and he keeps pushing it and then he won't take the ticket. So they start to come after him and they say something about essential workers and he says, I, I don't see how it's not essential. Oh, you walking around is essential, okay? Listen, I happen to think that the stay-at-home order should allow people to walk around, all right, and go to the park and be outside, but uh, just walking around is not essential, okay? It's not essential. Again, I don't agree with the stay-at-home orders to uh, the greatest extent. Here in the U.S., we can basically, at least in, in PA, like we can walk around and stuff. Um, that seemed to go a little bit too far, but I would still, I would still consent to that. I mean, I would still follow the rules. Um, and then he keeps saying, oh, it's not an act of parliament yet. It's not an act of parliament yet. Um, and I'll get into that in a second. And he keeps, he says, well, all I'm doing is walking down the street, walking down the street. And then he calls himself a freelance journalist. Let me tell you something. Any goofball, any idiot walking around with a phone and recording is not a freelance journalist. All right, that's what these First Amendment auditors do. This guy's like a wannabe auditor. Just because you have a camera on your iPhone, it doesn't turn you into a freelance journalist or an essential person, okay? So, um, they start coming at him with a ticket and they're yelling at him and he says, Oh, two meters distance. Keep your distance. I kind of thought that was funny. He's a keep your distance. He doesn't want to get sick. All right, fair enough. That was kind of funny. And they didn't have masks on. Um, and then he says, what's that paperwork? Dude, you know what that paperwork is. That paperwork's not good for you. That's what it is. It's not good for you. Though it would have been better if you just took it. Um, he says, I have more videos of you two, blah, blah, blah. Then they start to grab him and he's, oh, it's common assault and battery. So that makes me think he's citing the common law. He probably is. I don't know if this guy's a full-blown sovereign citizen, but he's busting out a little common law stuff. You know, the UK, America, former British colonies, oh, pretty much have the common law still the actual common law not the fake common law at these sovereign citizens this guy threw a little sovereign citizen in there a little bit of first amendment auditor in there but he's really just walking down the street with his phone trying to defy the order and he's playing with fire and these these two uh officers go ahead and arrest him and um I have to say, I, we got close-ups of them. I mean, you know, I, I thought they were fairly attractive. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. They were both uh, very pretty um, female officers. So he goes on and on about it's not an act of parliament, all right? In the United States, as you may may not know, most of the stay-at-home orders are done by the individual states, okay? And that's because governors and state governments generally have 
um, have a sort of general police power within their states, okay, that the president of the United States doesn't necessarily have, right? That's the system of federalism. We have a president and then we have individuals to 50 different states. They all have their governments and state governments have a lot of authority uh, for policing and things like this. Um, it appears, and I didn't go that deep into the Constitution, but it appears that the governors retain a lot of the power here. Now, uh, the president can act without Congress in the United States for under certain emergencies, right? They can issue executive orders. Um, usually that power is used for national security, though, or for the president to direct uh certain branches or or um, departments under the federal government, not for this general sort of stay-at-home order. And so if, number one, President Trump did not do that, okay? If he had, I don't know if it would have been constitutional. There's a famous case um, back during the Korean War where Harry Truman uh, tried to order a steel company, I, I believe, to make certain products for the war effort. And the government said that he didn't have that power, okay, under the existing uh, congressional, or I'm sorry, the existing constitutional framework. So it was very interesting. So President Trump, and this is a different sort of thing, a, vir a pandemic. It's not war. The president has all these powers when it comes to war. So, um, you know, in the U.S., a power, something like this, a health scare probably does fall to the states. OK, I actually think that's a good system because I think each state need, in, a, in a situation like this needs a tailored policy because some states are hit harder than others. Um, so, you know, President Trump didn't issue that order. So we didn't have that constitutional issue here in the United States that could have happened. It didn't happen. I don't know how it would have gone, but it looks like the states may have won that. All right. War is a different thing. The president has a lot of power when we're at war. Okay. He gets a lot more power at that point. In the UK, I was looking it up in, uh, the, pre the, the prime minister, I don't know British law. Okay, English law, etc. The prime minister issued, uh, made, like, came on TV and said, we're going to do this stay at home stuff. I don't know if that was like an executive order. Okay, this guy keeps saying there wasn't an act of parliament. I looked, I looked. The UK issued an act of parliament, which is pretty interesting because the United States Congress didn't, they had, they, they issued the CARES Act and like stimulus and relief bills, but none of their bills regulated what the states were going to do as far as the shutdown. So Congress took action and the president signed those bills, but none of those bills were, was the federal government saying shut down. See in the U S yeah, the, the federal government could do it with Congress and the president. The question is, could the president do it alone? If Congress and the president passed a bill, then they could shut down the whole U.S. They can override the states in every situation. That didn't happen. So, but in the U.K., they did. They passed this bill. It's called the Coronavirus Act of 2020. I thought this was interesting. Parliament passed it. It was introduced March 19th. Uh, the House of Commons, which is kind of like the House of Representatives for the U.K. Parliament. You know, anybody from Britain can correct me. All right. I'm flying by night here. Um, House of Commons passed the bill on March 23rd. Uh, the House of Lords, which is the upper chamber. I think those guys are like hereditary too. Like the House of Lords is wild. It's a little old and sort of undemocratic in a way. I don't mind having some hereditary or some appointed positions in the government. I just think the House of Lords is interest fascinating to me as an American because most, except for the Supreme Court, everybody in Congress is elected. So the House of Lords, House of Commons, March 23rd, Coronavirus Act. Uh, House of Lords, March 25th, Coronavirus Act. I guess the Prime Minister signs it like they do in the United States. And then the, the, they get the Queen's approval in Britain too. So this thing became law on like March 25th, March 26th. And this guy's out here saying it's not an act of Congress. Look, I don't know when this video took place, but, uh, or not an act of Parliament, but Parliament did act, dude. A parliament did act, and now you got arrested by um, these two cops. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This guy's kind of like a First Amendment frauditor, a uh, little, little bit of sovereign in there. I just thought it was entertaining. The guy at the beginning killed me. I don't. The guy at the beginning killed me. We said. <laughs>
<laughs> he said, what's wrong with you? Isn't that what we would like to say to all the sovereign citizens and First Amendment auditors? Thank you for tuning in. Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer, Common Sense Academy. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Trying to get 10,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. Sign up for my email list. Get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Thank you.